You know what sucks? Is when you buy a brand new record and that center spindle hole is just a little too small. Today I want to show you a product that can fix that. Plus, we're opening the mail straight out of the UK, including a package for Mrs. Channel 33 RPM. All that and more coming up next. Hi, my name is Frank, it's Friday. That means time to kick back, relax, and talk music. I have an absolutely jam-packed Friday episode for you, and I'm gonna do it in two little parts in this video. First up, I'm gonna invite my wife, Sherry, AKA Mrs. Channel 33 RPM down to the newsroom, and we are gonna, <laughs> the newsroom, the music room, the newsroom, that speaks back to my days when I was a reporter. I'm gonna invite Sherry into the music room, and we are gonna open up a package from David in Scotland. Um, there's something in there for me, and there's something in there for Sherry, so I know she's super excited about that. Then in the second half of this video, we're gonna head out to the garage and open up a really cool package from Jacob. And Jacob has, um, it's actually the, the man behind one of my favorite YouTube channels. He does uh, broccoli, Rockley Records. I have broccoli in my mind because his logo is a piece of broccoli. Rockley Records, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, let's start opening the mail. All right, we are here as promised. We got Sherry, Hi. Mrs. Channel 33 RPM. It's been a little while. Thank you for joining us it again. Has been. Thank you for having me. So, well, first things first, we got this package from David in Scotland. I know. And there's two things in here two compact discs, and there's something specifically for you. Okay, I'm excited. Thank you, David. So. No. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just very excited. <laughs> yeah, I know what it is, but I never told Sherry. Anyway, I open it, Sherry. You just you take things out. One's for me. One's for you. Okay. I don't know if there's a note. I don't know. All right. Idlewild, 100 broken windows. Okay. So this is for me. This is the band David told me about. It's called Idlewild, and they are from the UK, Scotland, I believe. And they started off as kind of like a punk rock band, kind of in the vein of the Sex Pistols, and slowly they evolved into a folk band. I'm gonna listen to this, I'm gonna check it out, and I'll report back in a future episode. Excellent. Sherry, what do you have in yours? Uh, Texas. Oh, thank you. This is their newest one. Well, take out the um, lyric booklet. <gasps> it's signed. <gasps> You have a sign. I have a sign. Show everyone this oh thing. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, David. Thank you. Oh, I love it. So it's legit. Texas, tell people about Texas if they don't. I thought they were from, I thought Texas was from Texas, but they're from Scotland. Yeah, they are. They're, uh, they're one of my favorite bands. I have, I think, pretty much every single one of their albums except for this one, which is amazing because I've been listening to this one on Spotify a lot. What kind of music is it? Oh, how would I describe it? I guess pop rock, maybe, um, with like some folk undertones. Okay. Is the new um, album good? Yeah, I really like the new album. I, I love uh, Charlene's voice. It stands the test of time. I think that from listening from her earlier albums to her later albums, I think that she um, evolves well. Um, and she just keeps getting better and better with each one with each album that comes out. I could sit in the backyard and listen to her all night. Well, David, thank you very much for sending over Idlewild. I look forward to checking this out. It's a report back in a few weeks about this CD. And obviously, Sherry's and really digging this as well. Yeah, David, thank you so much. Uh, I don't have anything that's signed by her, and that's it's just it's awesome to have. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly, sir. We do appreciate it. Cheers. I don't know why I went cheers. That's lame. Rock on! It's not really a rock on either. <laughs> keep, keep on spinning. <laughs> Thanks, David. <laughs> that was awesome. After Sherry left the room, she said she was just so humbled to receive that CD. So thank you again, David. That was very thoughtful of you. Anyway, let's head to the garage and check out this really cool package from Jacob. We're back out in the garage again to open this next package. This comes from Jacob Murphy 
all the way in Indiana, USA. If you don't know Jacob, he has an excellent YouTube channel called Rockley Records. Jacob deserves many, many, many more subscribers than he has. He's doing well, but he deserves many more. Seriously, one of my favorite YouTube channels. I'm gonna link below, please do check it out. Anyway, this was completely a uh, surprise. So I'm curious to see what's in here. So let us crack it open. First thing, we got a card or an envelope anyway, Let's see what's in here. It says, Frank, I hope you are doing well. I wanted to send you these vinyl related goodies. I think you will find them useful when needed. Also, they are made by Stable 33.33 in Canada. Feel free to give the additional reamer away if you like, okay? Uh, keep doing what you do. Spinning, of course. Your friend, Jacob. Awesome, man. Uh, there's two reamers in here, okay. Um, a vinyl hole, it sounds rude almost. A, a vinyl hole reamer. So we all have that issue, right? And it happens more frequently than is probably necessary where the hole on your center spindle or the center hole on your record is just slightly too small. I kind of have to force the record down there. So my understanding is this product will kind of gently help that uh, that situation out. Also from Jacob, and it's, um, it's a transit platter. These new vinyl transit platters are used to place your vinyl when handling disc change on your turntable. Engineered with military precision, this object uh, with a very clever design quickly becomes essential for any vinyl user. Okay, this is a product I am not uh, familiar with, so let's, uh, let's open it up see what it looks like. Again, it's from this company 33 and a third, or 33.33, and this, whoops, this is, uh, this is quite, this is quite heavy duty. Let's see inside. So, okay, this is what we got here. Again, very, very um, heavy, very well made. And uh, the design, as you can see, is really nice. So what I'm gonna do here again, I'm gonna break here, demonstrate, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back in the music room. We're gonna check these two products out. And I gotta tell you, I've never tried anything like this out. My, my, the extent of my knowledge about this is the reviews that Jacob has done on his YouTube channel, Rockley Records. So you should check that out. But while I was down here, I just quickly looked up um, what this company was all about, Stable 33.33. And I went to their website and just had a little bit about us. This is pretty cool. So this is a startup company out of Gatineau, Quebec, Canada. And uh, the guy behind this company is a um, machinist and designer named Sylvain Pichette. So the first thing I wanna start with is this product. I'm just gonna pull it up on the website. This is the Transit Platter. And these are not cheap. This retails for $140 Canadian. But you gotta feel this to believe it. I mean, this is, this is hefty. This is really weighty. And um, what does it say here? It weighs 994 grams, handmade in Canada. And it's made of stainless steel with a real wood veneer here on top. And I didn't know what a transit platter is for. So I'm actually gonna take this opportunity to show you a clip from Jacob's video where he reviewed and talked about this. Here is the transit platter by Stable 33.33. Its purpose is to be a solid and safe spot to place your precious vinyl records while they're, well, in transit and the transit platter keeps the grooves of your record safe from harm until you're ready to sleeve or place the record on your turntable. It can also serve as a place to dry a freshly cleaned record or be a stable spot to clean your record with a record roller or cleaning brush. So there you go. This is one of those devices you think you don't need until you actually have it and you start using it. Because oftentimes I take a record off of my turntable. I'm looking 
for some place to put it and end up often putting it someplace you shouldn't. So I've actually left this right beside my turntable there. And again, this product is quality, 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 super well made, super hefty. Now this other one Jacob sent over, again from Stable 33.33, this record reamer is actually really cool as well. I'm just pulling it up here on the, um, the website. And this retails for 50 bucks Canadian. And again, it's just, it's handmade and the quality is superb. It's got this little magnet and you open it up this way. I try to turn it, but you don't turn it, you just pull it right off. And then here's this little thing. So I'm gonna show you how it works because it is such a huge pain and I'm sure that you can relate when you get a brand new record and that center spindle hole is just a little too tight. And it seems to be, I mean, from my experience anyway, more of an issue now than it was 20 years ago. And it seems to be an issue particularly on the 180 gram records. My imagination or not, I don't know. But uh, let me grab a record and I will quickly demonstrate this for you. So here's a record I want to show you. This is an Ace Fraley record that's been giving me a hard time for the longest time. And again, it's because the center spindle hole is too small. Typically in the past, I may take a blade or a pencil to kind of make that hole bigger. But now I don't have to. But anyway, check this out. This, small, this hole is too small, so you kind of have to work the record on there and kind of have to work it off and that's an issue on both sides there you can see kind of got to work it on there and you kind of got to work it off so let's see what we can do to make that hole bigger here's the record reamer it's going to stick it in here and it takes a little bit to get it in there you just kind of turn it and you take it out I'll just do both sides, just, just for the heck of it. And we'll turn the camera this way. And as you can see, it goes on effortlessly. So there you go, a couple of really great products from Stable 33.33. I'll leave a link here in case you wanna check it out. And again, a huge, huge shout out to Jacob from Rockley Records who sent that over. I'm gonna leave a link again below this video to Jacob's channel. Cheers, Jacob, thank you very much. And thank you, David, for those CDs you sent as well. Cheers, guys. All right, 33ers, let me know what you thought of today's episode in the comments below. If you dug it, I'd appreciate a quick thumbs up. I hope you have a great rest of the weekend. Until next time, keep on spinning.